holes right here. There's rubber grommets that go in there. I forgot them, so I hope our shit doesn't get too wet. No, it'll flow. I'm just hoping the water doesn't like. I didn't even, I didn't even think about it. Yeah, like it's already popping up. Or do you want to sit back? You're saying like, I think if we sit back. Okay. There's those great rubs right there. I'd say I'm not. Okay. Yeah. So if I think if we sit here, yeah, putting this across the river, we might be able to get a lot of Sit, up, sit, sit right back here between these yeah. two. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine, dude. Let's do that. Cause you got that. Take all their stuff. <clears throat> there's that other. Rub, there's that rub that's for like we're too wide open there. Right. But that's, yeah, no, we're good. Cause we'll be able to stand up. I think we have enough cover. We can stand up. It's probably, it's 30 yards to the river, I'd say. Yeah. I'm gonna hit the river, it's gonna be 50. Yeah, where that log is right there, it's 34. All right. So if we go back there, then we're 50 yards. Me and Rob hunted it till last light. I mean, we stayed in there. And we didn't, we saw one, he saw one deer, couldn't tell what it was, it was too far. Um, it's a hard place to hunt because there's, there's no ag. It's uh, a mixture of swamp and woods and river it was all mostly maples. Rob had a plan and then I messed it up. So Rob was like, hey, he's like, I'm going to go to our area and do some scouting for next week's hunt. We're going to go there next week. And he uh i was like all right i was like maybe i can go with you and we'll just we'll film it you know we'll do everything he's like all right that'd be cool and then i call him on friday or whatever and i was like well what's you know what's the plan so on and then i'm like you know what if we go out and we, if we find a really good sign we set up on it and that right there like changed our mind frame the plan was to go and scout and we should have just stuck with that plan. And then if we got on an actual deer, then, you know, we sit or stalk or whatever. But we should have just scouted as much of the area as we could. I mean, it's 3,000 acres or something like that. And we have certain sections picked out, you know, already based on on X and so on. And that's what we should have done. We should have stuck to our plan, took all the stuff we had with us, with us, and then just walked, you know, to the areas that we wanted to look, seeing what sign we found, and then, you know, went back and just went went, went home. Uh, if we would have got on a deer or kicked the deer buck up or whatever, you know, maybe we could have stuck around or whatever, but, you know, we ended up going, find a mediocre sign, and we sat on it. and. It was just a mistake, I and mean, it was mostly my fault because um, I think I just got it in her head that you know we're gonna sit and we're gonna get this buck because nobody else hunts there and it's hard to get to and so on. We made that mistake. 
so it's uh, Sunday. I don't know what day it is. I never know what day it is. The 22nd or 3rd or something like that. Um, I'm back at my grandparents' farm. It's a northwest wind, so it's blowing that way, which is, is good for me most of the time. Um, the deer, for some reason, just have not been moving during the day. I don't, you know, it could be the corn, but we got the other farm, they're just not moving during the day either. Um, you know, when I was out there the other day, I mean, there's plenty of does. I should say, I shouldn't say deer, I should say mature bucks. at the field on the other side of this pasture is beans and I saw one of the I don't know which buck it was but it was a pretty solid buck walking out chasing a doe over there